video movie fans. Just wanted to let everybody know about Venom, Let There Be Carnage. This sequel stars Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock with the symbiote Venom alongside him. And it's kind of an interesting movie. I mean, the premise of it, the bad guy played by Woody Harrelson um, becomes Carnage is a serial killer, right? Who Eddie Brock interviews and gets to know and you know what I mean? Like his whole thing is just kind of creepy and then there's Shriek involved as well. Like the premise of it could have been a super dark and super scary movie. I was, I was kind of worried about that from the trailers. But in watching the movie, I was actually really pleasantly surprised that they kept it lighthearted. The chocolate delivery hasn't arrived yet. No! We had a deal. What's gonna happen? You gonna stop protecting me? I am happy to eat, Mrs. Chen! No, no, you cannot eat, Mrs. Chen. What? Nothing. One of the things that made the first Venom such a success was that it didn't take itself too seriously. And they definitely wrote that in the sequel, directed by Andy Serkis, and uh, kept it lighthearted and fun and really just kind of ridiculous, which I think is really what its strength is. Um, humor. I mean, man, it has so much funny lightheartedness to it in a, in a movie that really could have been just super scary and, and, and freaky. Now, all that being said, um, I still wouldn't say this is a children's movie or anything. I did take my 12-year-old son to it and had a great time watching that together, um, but, but not for little kids. It is still definitely PG-13, and it's got some language in it and whatnot. Oh, Whoa, where you going? That is a red one! You need to come out right now. I will let you eat everybody! Promise! I promise! Oh, yeah! But it does have enough creepy and, you know, kind of a little bit of scariness to it that makes it a really fun Halloween time feel of a movie. Um, so go out and enjoy it. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, right now it is about 168 million in the domestic box office, which is really good these days. And it has a fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes of 60%. Just really cool to see that go up from the, the first install. And its audience score on Rotten Tomatoes is at an 84%. So it's not just me. Others have enjoyed it and had a fun time watching it. So, yeah, definitely get out there and check it out if you had any interest in it at all. Um, is it important to have seen the first one? I would say yes. Um, that'll, that'll help you know if, if you'll want to see this movie or not. Just based on how you uh, handled and appreciated or did not appreciate um, that relationship between Eddie Brock and Venom. This movie really plays on that heavily, uh, kind of like a buddy comedy and their relationship sharing the same host, you know, kind of a thing. Uh, it's interesting and it's funny and overall ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, action packed with, with carnage involved and getting to see getting to see a heroic version of Venom. Uh, I know often described as an anti-hero, but where they have him as the protagonist in these two movies, it's really cool seeing uh, what he can do for good. There's some great funny moments in store. And yeah, just a great performance again by Tom Hardy in this role. So I hope you guys will go check it out. Thanks for getting this quick review. Stay safe out there. Hope you have a good one.